Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up here a game that I did actually play for just, just like a minute before starting recording this video. And I've rebooted it so that we can uh, capture the title screens. For some reason, the game title flashes by super fast at the beginning of this uh, loader, or at the end of the loader, I suppose, and at the beginning of the game game title screen sequence. And uh, anyway, here we go. I'm going to unpause it right now. So that Fallen Kingdom flashed up there briefly, and then we have a nice, nice little graphical screen. Fallen Kingdom with uh, a chess piece, a king, dissolving, it looks like. And this one was written for the ABBUC Software Contest 2021. Now, um, there didn't seem to be any options to choose. And uh, it took me, uh, like I said, I just played for a minute or two, but I got the idea. Um, the idea is to capture the other king. Now, I can only move the blue piece here. Um, I can move it, move my cursor around, but I can't do anything else other than move the blue piece. So my king obviously has the moves of a king, but there's there's also gravity at play, which is a nice and interesting, I guess, variant. It's like you're looking at sort of a sort of a chessboard, but uh, only sort of. So now on the second level, and this is what actually clued me into what was happening. Um, I've got a rook or a castle, and I have the option of moving, for example, all the way left or right and up. Now, if you move up, you just fall down again. Uh, presumably, that might have some impact on your score. Maybe not, actually. Because the two just seems to be a level indicator. And so I will now capture the king. I'm guessing that there you can get into untenable positions, positions where you can't win. And here you have like a reset the level. I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's find out. Uh, oh, how am I gonna? Oh, that's a bishop. Interesting. So if I come all the way over here and then fall down, what happens? Oh, I see. Oh, clever, 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 clever. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go up here will then fall me down and now I'm on a different color square very interesting and I need to get to this column here and then I can take out the king nice the music is nice also uh, subdued so it's not overly distracting ah so here now we're probably introducing the idea of some kind of cooperative gameplay uh, the king isn't gonna be able to get over that gap I don't think let's see what happens here the rook I can move there and fall down the gap then the king I don't think I can wrap around can I know I both fall and now we're done okay so here's where we reset and try and figure out what is going on here I don't think the king can really take Oh, yes, he can. All right, I just... Thinking my way through this faster than I could talk, I just had a bit of an epiphany. So the knight, if he, if I just took... Well, why don't I do that, actually? Let me just pretend I'm trying to work this out. So the knight, if I did this, which puts me in an unwinnable position now. I can't... I can't get over this, this hump here. So the gravity component is obviously a key aspect of the game be kind of nice if the cursor would wrap around. So as I started to do there before I decided to demonstrate how not to do the level, you can um, use the king to boost up the rook. Did I call it a knight a minute ago? I might have. And then get yourself into a position to take the king. Very nice. Okay, three pieces here and we need to get the I think I'm going to need to get the king over there because neither 
bishop can move. Horizontally. So how are we going to do that? We're going to need to make a little bishop ladder. A little bishop ladder. How am I going to get any up, any bishops up there? Oh, I guess I just need to get the one. Okay, so this guy here can come up here. And so can this dude here. Which will then drop him onto that darker square there. I'm going to move him there. For starters. And then I'm going to move the king over here. Up there. Oh, I can't move him there. The king out of the way. Can't go through the pieces, apparently, which is good to know what the constraints are. And I believe I can now take the king. This is a clever puzzle. I wonder if this is original. Okay, here we have our first look at a knight. How is this going to work? Um, the knight will be able to move a classic sort of L shape. But... Huh. I don't really see how this is going to work. Presumably there's a way. But I don't understand what it is. Oh, no, I think I do see. Wow, this is a little convoluted. Okay, so it makes some... Uh, uh, the only way I can see to do this, obviously, makes some assumptions about how the, the game works. So I'm, you can, I'm assuming you, you can jump through the walls. That being the case, I can get through that little donut hole and then over to there... there over to thar and over to thar to get the king i like this i like this this is really neat okay we're gonna need some cooperative play here obviously um That's interesting. Well, it's not obvious to me how I'm going to get up to the king there. The... <laughs> it's as high as I can go from ground level. anything. Huh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, donut hole. Gosh, that is counterintuitive. Okay. Where am I going to have to be for this to work? myself here. No. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the movement of the pieces really creates a lot of interesting options for playing the game. Um, or sorry, for creating interesting puzzles is what I meant to say. I still don't see how I'm going to get up there. Oh, well, wait, I do see. 
I do see. Okay. Cool. Clever puzzle. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. I'm still kind of... Oh, no. Cooperative venture for all the way around. Got to do that boost thing, what, three times now? Now I should be able to get up there. There we are. Boom. Got the king. The king has fallen. Oh, we got a new play field element. What on earth is that? What is that? I can only reach one of them, so obviously that's what I'm meant to do. Ah, it's like a one-way barrier. Can I go through it the other direction? Oh, I can. So it's like a passable barrier. Cute, not too challenging, but but a nice a nice level nonetheless. Oh, what do we have here? We've got a bishop and a rook and a king that's gonna have to be the one, or a rook, I guess, that's gonna have to be the one to take him down. So I'm not gonna get the rook out of here unless I can get the bishop in to help him out. In to help him out. That's clear as mud. stuck. He's stuck. Great. Is there any way for me to not have him be stuck? Oh yes, I could move the king out, couldn't I? There we go. Move Mr. Rook out of there. Move Mr. Bishop in. Move the rook up and out. Sort of out. I'm going to need another assist from the, from the bishop. Up again. Or do I? Maybe I don't actually. I think I can do it with the king. Should I, I move the king too soon? Alrighty. The enemy king is mine. How are we doing here? 13 minutes. Wow, these puzzle games do capture my attention, don't they? Oh my, what have we here? We have, who can get in there to capture? A knight, a rook, or the king are the two, are the options. We're gonna have to have a stack of pieces though. Uh, let's see here, well, I might as well start, with, oh no, wait a minute. I was gonna say I might as well start with the bishops, but that doesn't really make sense actually. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, five high. I've got five pieces there. So if I can stack the... The, um... The whatchamadoeys. Hmm, maybe I should have put the rook in there somehow. Could I have put the rook in there? Not really. This rook is stuck on the ground level, isn't he? I guess I could put him on ground level. I could do that. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to need his height. And then we'll take a knight. Another knight and stack it on top of the other knight. 
the other night on the other night, which then goes on the other night. Uh, let's see here. I think I can now take my two. Oh, I need the king in there too, don't I? How is that going to work? I do need the king in there. I need all of these pieces. Again, I said rook. I meant bishop. Then this guy is going to come up here and drop. And this guy is going to do something very similar, which will be to there. Wow, this is a good game. I like this. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's 10 levels, I guess, I finished in a little over 16 minutes, although I spent a bit of time yakety-yakking at the beginning. So, oh, pawns. This is the first time we've seen pawns as well. So they're very much... Huh. I wonder what their limitations are going to be. Now I'm curious. I'm not going to play the level, but they can only move up. Okay. Or maybe I wonder if they might have the ability to leapfrog each other. How does that work in the real game? Can't even remember. I don't think they can leapfrog each other. So these guys can only go up. Oh, but they can move two on their first move. Ah, clever. <laughs> Love it. Love it. But now he's stuck, right? Right. Interesting. And the king. I see. Well, no, I don't, actually. Anyway, I sh sorry, I'm already trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle when I said I was going to stop. All right. Excellent. The most excellent Fallen Kingdom. I love it. Great puzzle game. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.